hello friends welcome back to another episode another video of little blessed nest today we're going to be working on a project my mom and i are going to town we're going to go to lowe's i'm hoping to do our um wood shutters if we're not able to pull that off, then we're gonna do landscaping. So stay tuned to see which project we ended up doing today. But before we get into that, I wanna thank our friends at Giraffe Tools for sponsoring today's video. So Giraffe Tools sent me their Grand Falls pressure washer. It's 2200 PSI capable, and it has a 100 foot hose. It's great for pressure washing your home, cleaning your vehicle, cleaning driveways, sidewalks, any sort of thing that's gotten dirty and grimy. I'm sure it will do a great job on. We're actually gonna test it out today. I'm gonna show you how it works. All you have to do is mount it. You don't have to do anything else except turn it on and use it. It does come with your screws and drywall screws if you need those for mounting. Now my dad has installed it down here at his house because I think typically people install it in their garage but we don't have a garage. Um, so he's actually installed it underneath their little um, porch area down here. It is electric, so it does have to be in a garage or somewhere out of the element so it doesn't get wet. Because he was installing it on the side of his house, he made this metal plate to put on for extra support and then attached the included plate for the power washer on top of that. You wouldn't have to do that if you were putting it in a garage. You see these little slots here on the back of the power washer? those slide right into the grooves on the plate that was included in the box. You can see it slides right on and off. It's not hard to remove, so he can easily move this around if he wants just by taking it off the wall. So this pressure washer actually has a very unique retractable system. Like I said, the hose is 100 feet and you can pull it out easily. When you stop, it stops. Once you're finished using it, it easily reels itself back in. I was pretty amazed at how like strong it was. It was literally pulling me forward as I was walking with it. You can see how fast it's reeling it back in. It has a telescopic aluminum handle, which can be adjusted to user's height. It also comes with four different spray nozzles. It has a zero, a 15, a 25, and a 40 degree one. These are used for various pressure and water output. As someone who loses things so easily, one thing I really appreciated about the design of this is that they have a little storage mechanism on the actual wand for you to store your nozzles. That's so cool to me and it's so easy to use. If not, I would lose these things within a day. Another thing I like is that they provided a space for you to store the handle and also the little canister that holds your soap. It goes right here in this little holder. My dad has really been looking forward to trying this thing out. So we're actually gonna start off by um, spraying it on his patio here. And you can see this is the yellow nozzle and it is doing a really good job of clearing off all the dirt and debris and the grime on this patio. We switched up all the different nozzles and tried them all out. They all did a good job. Now when you get to the red one, that one is super powerful as you can see. It sprays a really strong direct stream of water. So just be careful with that one. So we know it does a good job cleaning the patio. So now we're gonna move on to the siding on my parents' house. It's really in need of a good pressure washing and it does come with this handy dispenser that you could put soap in or whatever you wanna to use to clean your car or your siding. It was really easy to use. You just fill it with the soap and then attach it right onto the end of the handle. It worked really great. The cleaning solution we were using was called Crud Cutter and it gave the instructions to let it sit on for just a little bit and then go ahead with your power washer and spray it off. So you can see my dad is going in here and spraying off all of this mildew that's on the siding and dirt. It came off pretty easily and it also took off all this slimy green stuff on the bottom of the brick here. show you a quick before and after and you can see for yourself that this power washer did a really good job of cleaning this siding. So here's the before and here's the after. If you're interested in purchasing your own pressure washer, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. They have also given me a discount code for all you guys and it is Little Blessed Nest. Just use that at checkout. All right guys, so we're here at Lowe's. My mom and I are gonna go in here and see if we can find some materials to build some shutters. 
First, I wanted to check on the price of regular shutters just so I could compare and see which one was gonna be more expensive. Wood or vinyl? <laughs> Wood. What? <laughs> you like the black? Oh, well, I would paint them if I bought the vinyl kind, but you get two of these vinyl ones for $48. Well, what did you say? Bite the dust, <laughs> paint the price. <laughs> This one is notorious for getting phrases wrong. And she told me, bite the dust. I think she meant bite the bullet. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if this is what I should go with, but we're going with premium prime. Premium prime, premium pine. And they are 1140. No, we're going with the eight foot. 1520, and then I need some one by threes. A lot more than the vinyl, but Mama said bite the dust, so we do what Mama says. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> Apparently pine is not what we need. Apparently we need cedar. I'm about to abort completely. A one by four by 10 is $16. found the cedar but it's all different colors which I don't like like why are they all well if you use different. that same that you got home you're gonna be able to see that different it's gonna stain different colors though if oh. it's a lighter color it's gonna stain a different I agree <laughs> you agree <sighs> we've switched projects because we just couldn't with the window what are they <laughs> with the shutters <laughs> so we're going to landscaping now <laughs> All right, I got weed barrier and I've got some no dig landscape edging. Um, I'm working on like down the side of the ramp. I'm gonna put mulch down there. I can't think straight. <laughs> These shutters just got me all frazzled. <laughs> Lost her, okay. We're gonna see if they have any discount flowers. I didn't find any flowers at Lowe's, but I knew that this little nursery that I go by all the time had their summer flowers on sale. So I stopped by there and I did find some nice ones that I really liked. So I picked up a few and we're going to go home and work on this landscaping. I really like these. These are verbena and they spread out and bush out really pretty. I think I have a good little variety here. I'm hoping it's going to look nice once I get it home and get it all planted. All right, I want to give you a quick shot, a reminder of what it looks like before we get started. First thing I'm going to do is put down this landscape fabric. It's four foot by 50 foot. All right, so I've just kind of rolled it out and I have to go in and cut around the um, bushes that I have here. And I just put this plant on top of it for now to hold it down in place. So I cut around this plant and then just stretched it over it. Um, I left room around the bottom so that water can get through. It is a little tricky to work with and get it around the, the plants. I guess you could cut it and piece it together, but it just seemed like it would be better at keeping weeds out if I didn't do that. I can't cut a hole around this one like I did the plants because it's attached to the pole. I'm going to put um, some lattice back here all the way down through there. That'll look better. We're making progress. I've never used this fabric weed barrier before, so it's a little bit of a learning curve, but we're doing the best we can. This is the rubber mulch that I picked up from Lowe's. It's by the brand Rubberific, and this is the shredded rubber mulch. I think it really does look like black mulch in person. It does have the rubber tire smell at first because um, these are made out of old tires. There are a couple of like big pieces that I picked out, but not very many at all. We went ahead and spread some out just so we could see what it was going to look like before we did the edging. This is the no dig landscape edging that I picked up from Lowe's. I really wish this electric thing wasn't right there. That kind of sucks, but um, <laughs> is what it is. Um, let's see. So I got to figure out how I want this curve to go. 
we came up with a general idea of what I think I want it to look like so we're gonna get the edging out and get started see if we can form this correctly how's it going <laughs> practice Stop. makes perfect a problem up there because I think there's concrete in there but so we're gonna try to make a curve a curved edge up through here we're gonna attempt to anyway we got a 60 foot long kit of this edging and it only comes with 18 stakes and there's holes all along there so we have to we have to be ration. we have to ration our stakes <laughs> which i don't understand why well, I, I guess they put them all there because you can stake it wherever you want i don't know one down <laughs> four that's four that's we got my four first that's your first one we're seriously struggling with the curve <laughs> of this landscape and we can't figure out what looks good um we nailed we just nailed the put the little stakes down in there had to pry them back up fun times maybe we need it nailed down until we need it nailed down and, and mulch in there and then we'll be like oh, i don't think this is right <laughs> i don't know i like the curve i like it curved I know like this bush like here. This and then come back out and back in or just like it is. Pull it in down there and let's see what it looks like not having this big curve. Yeah. Pull it in down there at the end. Close. Pull it in closer to the. Yeah. I think that looks better. You think? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Yeah, let's go with that. You think this needs to come in more? In? Yeah, no. No. So that's... Well, maybe. It's just a slight curve, barely even a curve. Want it in? Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah. I think so. Pull it out just a little. <laughs> back in? Huh? Put it back in? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, th that. I think it looks right. better. I think it looked better with the more end, don't you? That don't look right. It looks like it's just going down in a. I know. I think it looked better when we had it when you had it pulled back in more curved. What do you think? What about down there? That looks like a mess. That looks like a mess. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> We finally come up with a curve that I think is good. Razor knife works great for trimming this. Um, what is this stuff? Landscape. This weed <laughs> barrier. <laughs> Here, you may do that. It's oddly satisfying. Because <laughs> it's actually something that works. <laughs> we struggle with everything we do. I gotta figure out this little curve and get this stake down and we'll be finished for the day. I really like this rubber mulch. What do you think? You like it? It looks just like mulch. It costs more than regular mulch, but it doesn't fade. So you don't have to keep replacing it like you do regular mulch. So you might spend more up front, but it should last a lot longer. At least that's what they tell me. <laughs> My dad's still down here using this pressure washer. He's washing the car with it now. My mom wants me to show you her hummingbird, so I'm trying to catch one on film, but I'm not having any luck. Can you see it? There he is. So pretty. I always enjoy looking back at the progress that we've made. This is what the back of our home looked like about a year ago. Since then, we've done a lot of projects. We had a new wheelchair ramp and little porch put on. We stained that porch, put on a new back door, painted the exterior, and now done some landscaping. Again, this is what it looked like before we got started. Big thanks to my parents for helping out with today's projects.
so happy with the progress that we've made so far on the back of the house. I do have some more projects that I'm going to be working on soon. They'll be in an upcoming videos. I'm going to make a sidewalk, like a walkway here in front of the steps. That'll make this eyesore look so much better. I'm also going to be putting boards on the front of the steps here so that you won't be able to see through them, along with putting lattice down the side as I mentioned earlier in the video. I also plan to finish off the railing here by adding spindles down the side. I think that'll help it look more polished and finished and add some safety as well. I am really happy with the landscaping fabric that I chose and the black mulch. I haven't had any weeds coming up other than right around the electric pole right there where we had to piece it together. I had a sweet subscriber who sent me the little blessed nest sign here by my door. Thank you so much, Donna. I hope you've all enjoyed today's project. Thanks so much for stopping by and visiting with me again today. If you like this content, please consider giving me a thumbs up. This really helps out my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.